Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the hydrogenation of alkenes and this is for the OCO and EdXL specs. And if you're following the EdXL spec you should be able to describe how hydrogenation is used to produce margarine. Ok now over the last few videos we've been looking at the reactions of alkenes and we've seen that alkenes are highly reactive molecules. This reactivity is due to the double bond. Firstly the double bond contains two pairs of electrons. We have a pair of electrons in the sigma bond and another pair of electrons in the pi bond. So this means that the double bond is a region of high electron density. And this high electron density means that alkenes often react by electrophilic addition. Secondly the pi bond takes less energy to break than a sigma bond and because of this the pi bond is more likely to take part in chemical reactions. In this video we're looking at how alkenes react with hydrogen gas. This reaction is called hydrogenation. I'm showing you here the equation for the hydrogenation of ethene. Hydrogenation is carried out at a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius and in this reaction we use a catalyst which is the metal nickel. Now there are a couple of points about this reaction that you need to bear in mind. Firstly the two hydrogen atoms in the hydrogen molecule add across the double bond and I'm showing that more clearly in this diagram. So when we hydrogenate an alkene which is an unsaturated molecule we make an alkane which is a saturated molecule. Secondly this reaction uses a solid catalyst which is the metal nickel. So unlike other reactions of alkenes hydrogenation does not take place by electrophilic addition. We'll be looking at how catalysts work in the topic on rates of reaction. Now there is one really important use of hydrogenation which is to make margarine. Margarine is produced by hydrogenating vegetable oil. I'm showing you here a molecule that we typically find in vegetable oils. These molecules contain fatty acids and I'm showing those in red. And these fatty acids are frequently unsaturated molecules containing one or more double bonds. Unsaturated fatty acids tend to have relatively low melting points which is why vegetable oil is a liquid at room temperature. By hydrogenating unsaturated fatty acids we can increase their melting point converting them from liquid oil to a solid margarine. Usually the conditions are controlled so that only partial hydrogenation takes place. In other words only some of the double bonds are hydrogenated and the more double bonds that we hydrogenate the higher the melting point of the product. Ok so hopefully now you can describe the hydrogenation of alkenes and how hydrogenation is used to produce margarine. Mm -hmm. 